I'll, I will smoke them. Oh, this is probably gone. Oh no. I think it just needs to get it's more pumps to get it going. There we go. Anyway, I smoke them, I wait for three minutes. I smoke them again, and I wait for three minutes. There we go, that's some heat. All right, take that. <laughs> Does that put that in your hive and smoke it? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I do it twice, once in the top. See, they're pushing it up now. Okay, you do that. I'll just put it down here and you can suck <laughs> it in. Wow. Yeah, they're, like I said, this has been our most aggressive yeah. from day one. Yeah. Well, you need to take that box. Is that, that, that you got, uh -huh. <laughs> you make a queen for her. You find her, <laughs> you find her, and help her lose her head. And <laughs> off with the head, off yeah. with the head. Uh, although it's been productive, right? Oh yeah. yeah. Mm. Well, I, mean, oh, I tell yeah. you what, workability uh, trumps productivity. I'd rather have a less productive hive <laughs> that I can work than one that that. Uh... But don't you think it's interesting that all these other queens came from her and they're calm? Right. <laughs> no. Why? I. Sperm. Oh, uh, remember, yeah. we've got a high variability uh -huh. in the genetics because of the way bees mate. And so huh. it depends on what, you know, it, 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 you know, it was Mr. Nasty that made her, <laughs> you know, yeah. and she had that, uh, those other traits in there. Oh, and and, 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 and <laughs> who they mate with will also dictate the, the personality of those bees to some degree. Interesting. So, now you think about different people. Yeah. <laughs> F, F1s, the, the genetic F1s, the first generations, um, typically don't carry the traits really well in bees. It's the F2s that do. And so that's from what my experience and my reading. Um, plants, it's different. F1s, hybrids, and plants can be really productive. So, hello. Coming in. <laughs> That's the test. They're like, uh, bring it on, Seca. <laughs> See, I'm going in there now. And I'm yeah, not getting anything in my face. In here. Yeah, I'm not getting anything in my face. It's a fake out. Yeah, I only got to let them open up, and then we're going to hammer that sucker. Yeah, they're all waiting for the next layer. They're all, and all they're those chuckleheads are standing around and watching. And oh, that's oh, usually God. where they are, is right there. there. You know, you just Sunny gear up, up and you go. <laughs> you just got to gotta do what you got to do, you know? Exactly. So where's our lid? Oh, give me that inner cover, please. Yeah. We're gonna use that to set this on. I put the table here too. Oh, well, that's okay. <laughs> put this piece of very expensive equipment. See if we get the excluder and everything all in one stroke. Are you going above or below? He's, He's trying to take below. the excluder, yeah. Yeah. This thing needs We're handles. Up. Oh, okay, side. you got them on the sides. Yeah. Okay, there when they go. fill it up, I bet it's heavy, huh? Oh my god, you have no idea how heavy that thing 60, is. 60, 70 pounds. Uh -huh. Yeah. Pretty good. Different attitude. <laughs> that looks like they need a pillow and potty, too. So, this hive, you're going to want to work very carefully and slowly and not try to agitate them any more than you need to because they're, they come with an attitude already. <laughs> And you may have to go through them a lot quicker. They may tolerate a certain amount of working and then you're in for it, so. Like if we do to them what we did to that hive, they'd be oh, go shoot. going around letting yeah. everybody have it in we, We'd be going home by now, right? Now I do have a broken frame awesome. in this one awesome. right here. I'm just gonna lay this in here. The first frame here is a broken frame. Where is it broken? Right there. Oh, okay. See him jumping out at him? See the bees jumping yeah. out at him? We're going to go over here. Okay. Yeah, they're all butts in the air. They're, they got their alarm pheromone going. But, but we calmed them down considerably. They were coming out of the top after us. So, but this one you're going to keep it smoking close by. <laughs> Make sure it's smoking. Yeah. And you're going to want to smoke these edges like this. That's where the... The attitude, the attitude girls are all hiding it's around those edges. This part right here, once again, that's the brood nest. You're not uh -huh. going to get a lot of action out of that. We'll get it off the edges. And see, now see the spacing here? See what, see the problem that you create by leaving them uh -huh. widely spaced? Same sort of deal. Don't want to space them out. If They're this building. is a brood nest, you want to pack it in there tight so it okay. gives you working room. Okay. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to shove this one over right. as much as I can. 
Exactly the same thing there. It looks like you guys checkerboarded that not too long ago. Yeah. Yeah. Which is making it possible to push it together without smashing bees. Yeah. They're definitely pricier. Yeah, with the two weekends after he gave his talk on checkerboarding, we, we did all the hives checkerboarded. Yeah. That's did amazing. You, did you, that one filled all the way We up, reversed like, brood boxes and checkerboarded everything. Did, did, well, you got some really good productivity. I mean, I mean these are strong colonies. Yeah, for sure. Good job. Just, well done. Just don't use a queen excluder and, and, and uh, oh yeah, this is heavy. Is it full of nectar? Yeah, it's a little, it's a 50-50. Oh, wow. Is that a queen cell? Yeah, this um, is a pantry I, frame. I think it's just a brace. So cone. this is this is all honey and pollen. Yeah, honey. yeah, that's a, a, a storage comb. But that's a frame you could extract and oh yeah, you know as soon as they cap it, right. another another month or two. Right. Uh, ladies, pardon the intrusion, but, but you deserve it. You just take that frame out. Usually the outside there. frames oh, okay. are just honey. Oh. Yeah. And the pollen. inside and pollen and the insiders where the okay. brood is. Yeah, here's one that was drawn out. This was a ch one of the checkerboarded frames. Wow. wow. Bottom is all brood. Same thing over here. Brood. Top's all yeah. honey. Not much of a pollen band. A little bit of drone comb right there, that little lump. Yeah, not much of a pollen huh. band, so. They're using, this time of year, yeah. they're using can, a lot of what they can get. You see the pollen brood. that's in here? This is all this dark dispersed stuff down in here. Uh-huh. And that's kind yeah, of Yeah, see, there's, there's some no, pollen in here. There's, there's some pollen in here interspersed. Yeah. yeah, this is capped honey here. So Drones. What's, what's capped here? This is, this is brood. Oh, this is honey. Oh, because of cover? Yeah, yeah. This has got a cocoon under it, a dark okay. cocoon that's been spun by the pupa. And you can see larva in there. See the little little larvae inside of there? They're kind of a oh, white okay. crescent shape. Okay. This is all drone comb over here, this little pile. Do we want to pop one of those drones open, Steve? Yeah, we can. Uh, Greg, that poker thing should be right. Or did Linda take it back? Linda? 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 Did you take your poker thing back? Nothing. Okay. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Eat it. Here's the poker. Okay. Wheel. Same thing there. No, nothing. Excellent. Really good. Yeah, good job Excellent. on your mite management. Yeah. Here you go. Here you go. Thank you. Yeah. If you, if you had big infestations, you'd be seeing mice crawling out of there. But like I said, I do, I'll do 10 of them just to see. That makes me so happy. <laughs> <laughs> but working, working. Nope, this. Oh. Good job. Working <laughs> this way versus passing my hands over it a whole bunch to manipulate and dragging frames out. That's, that's a, a lot easier on bees that are temperamental. Okay, and, and if they get where you're putting your fingers. What's this mm -hmm. that they're, is that They're dealing that with a dead this? pupa. Oh, okay. Yeah. When you open things up and moving them around. That we just, was, yeah, oh, that yeah. It just came out yeah. as part they'll, of the... They'll eat it. They'll eat around. it. That's a heavy one. I can already see it. Oh. Brood. Brood and capped honey. These are nice. Look at that white, look at that bee with a yellow pollen jacket. Check it out. <laughs> It's right over there on the right, no, right, right there. there. Yellow pollen jacket. Wow. <laughs> A lot of pollen coming into this. Yeah. Look at them coming. I mean, coming in the bottom, they look like covered. flying Cheetos. Yeah. <laughs> flying Cheetos. I like they that. do. Look at what I'm coming in. Yeah. There's a queen cup. I don't see anything in it. I'm going to. Yeah, queen cup. I'm going to check it out. It's right here. Oh, yep. Oh, yeah. Two of them. Two of them. Do you ever destroy the queen cups? I do. Just, yeah, just, just to see what's in them. I if they do, want yeah. them, they'll just make them again. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's not a big deal. It's like poking, poking any other wax structure in a colony. <laughs> you can poke or a... I'm just going to... 
that stop you from, I mean, just slow you down from raising queens? Well, no, the cup is not a queen. It's not, they're not raising queens. They're just making a wax formation just that can be case. used for that. Just, oh. okay? just in case. Okay. It's like buying empty canning jars and not canning. Okay? There's not a, a larva or an egg in it. It is just a it's cup. It's just in case. It's just a cup. And, and they can induce a queen to lay in it, okay? And so it becomes a queen cell. Now that was a checkerboard. Lar larva and eggs in here. Excellent. This has just been laid up. Ooh, that's a queen. Yeah, that. That's another queen. Cup but right it's there. not or it's not sealed. And so you open it up, and you look in it, and what do you see in the bottom? Is there well, anything queen, in it? A, what do you a see? Larva. Look no. in there. What do you see? Royal jelly. Royal jelly yeah. and the larva. So they're getting ready. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to continue to look. Okay. All right. We're not going to. We're going to leave that one alone. 